Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Coach Josh. Just want to say thank you uh, to everyone who's been watching my videos. I greatly appreciate your support. If you feel like these videos are beneficial to you or your friends or your family in them, definitely feel free to post on your wall and share. Uh, these are the Q&A or some videos I might even do question and answering videos. But this one's a Q&A video, so the whole purpose of this video is to answer the unanswered questions. So if you have a question about anything, about God, about life or relationships, definitely hit the coach up. And I will do my best to get a video out to you. But today's video is entitled, How or Why is the Christian Walk So Tough? Uh, a lot of people in our society they has been so deceived in a way where they think that when they come to God, all their problems will be solved. Uh, God will lay out a red carpet of them full of blessings, full of mansions and Bentleys and whatnot. We have been so conditioned or programmed with that deception to think that once I become saved, once I become a follower of God, that Jesus is an addition to my life to benefit my life and to bless me with all these uh, 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 blessings that I desire. But what we have failed to realize is that the true Christian walk, the true walk with God is one of the toughest things you ever face in life. As soon as you become a Christian, as soon as you enter into the into the knowledge of God and God is actually regenerating your heart through his spirit, all of a sudden all hell is going to break loose in your life. You're going to get attacked financially. You're going to get attacked in your health. You're going to get attacked in your character. You are now a target. Like I told people I unemployed last week, the moment that you cross that line from an unbeliever to a believer, from unsaved to saved, from ignorance to knowledge of God, you become a target because now you have the truth. You have what's inside of you enough to change your family, enough to change your city, enough to change your community, enough to change the world. But the problem is Satan understands or the demons understand is that you have that potential, that authority in God to change the world. Therefore, let me hinder your potential in God. See, the devil and demons don't care about your potential in life. They don't care about what type of potential you have in being a a, a athlete or a musician, they don't care about their potential because their potential is perverted and is used to in a perverse way to make others perverted, then then if Satan don't care about that. But he cares about your potential in God. Once you become saved, you have a new form of potential. Your potential with the Holy Ghost backing you, with the Holy Ghost living in you. And that's a dangerous potential. He doesn't want unplugged to flourish. He doesn't want me to do these videos. He don't want me to help people. He don't want me to be out there active. So what is he going to do? Before I attack him, he's going to attack me. The demons are going to attack my life to where it buckles me. It breaks me down to the place where I become either a plateau in my ministry. I become carnal. I become comfortable. And I don't become aggressive. But the moment you come into the knowledge of God, they're going to try to limit your potential in Him. Therefore, making the walk or your, or your journey in God difficult. That's why it's so tough. That's why you get frustrated. That's why I came to encourage you, let you know that you are a soldier. And a soldier is not a person that's supposed to pout, that's supposed to be in a corner crying and whatnot. If you understand your enemy, if you understand the reality of the spiritual war that's going on, then it will give you that confidence, that boldness to stand firm in your faith, to stand firm in the things of God, enabling you to step into step by step into the potential that God has for you. But if you continue to focus on your problems, and you continue to focus on why all this hell break loose, then you'll turn away from God. Then you'll turn your back on God. Or you'll go the comfortable road. But you have to understand that God allows challenges and troubles and trials in your life and suffering and pain in your life to develop you and to assume to be general so that you can go back and make soldiers and develop them and disciple them and help them also endure their life. Imagine if I would have gave up years ago. I've contemplated suicide. I've thought about quitting because I'm like God. I thought from these false doctors, from these false preachers saying that, you know, once I become saved, I'm supposed to be rich. I'm supposed to be well. I'm supposed to be full of life. That's true. You're supposed to have an abundant life, but it's not in a way where all of a sudden I go to God only to receive. It's not all of a sudden God is supposed to come and erase all problems. He says in this life you will have trials and tribulations. But be of good cheer. I overcome them all. He says, count it all joy when you go through various trials, knowing this, that the trying of your faith produces patience. And when patience has performed its perfect work in you, you will be complete, whole, lacking nothing. The Bible talks more about suffering, more about pain, more about endurance, more about struggle than it does anything else that it comes to prosperity stuff. God is all about making sure that you develop, that you become strong mentally. 
that you become strong emotionally, that you become strong physically, so that you will be able to stand against or be able to stand in the breaches of your community, the breaches of your family, the breaches of your country, and the breaches of your world. But if we buckle and we complain and we get aggravated and frustrated, then we'll lose the battles over and over again. This walk is going to be tough. I don't care what those pastors say about money and cars and stuff. Forget that. This life is going to be tough. It's time for each and every one of us to say, you know what? What is my authority in Christ? The reason why they get your focus offset is because if you understand your true authority in Christ and your authority over all principalities, all demonic spirits and over Satan himself, then nothing by any means can stop you. Because if you look out, if God really took the veils off your eyes, you'll see how the angels are working on your behalf. See, demons understand this whole thing. Once you come in knowledge of God mentally, the more you begin to renew your mind, the more confident and more bold you'll be. The more confident and bold enough you will say, you know what, I actually can impact my family. I actually can change my community. I actually can change my city. That's the mentality that I have in my life. Yes, it got tough, but I said, how can I make this pain, this suffering, this trial, develop me into the man of God to where I can really change the city of Charlotte? Not know, oh, that would be great to change the city. No, I will change the city. I will impact this city. I will impact the world. I will bend history, not because of my own potential, but my potential in God and by His grace, I will get these things done. Imagine if you understood your authority in God. Imagine if you understood why the road is tough, why the road is long, why the road is hard, why the gate is narrow, why the path is narrow. That's why the Bible says lay aside all filthiness. That, that's easily set on us. Cast it aside because we have a race to run. We have a path to run and it's tough for a reason. Be encouraged. All you believers out there that's like, Josh, man, I'm attacked in my well, these are the three things that I found out this past weekend. The way, the way Satan will try to slow you down or the way demons try to slow you down is they'll attack your finances, they'll attack your health, or they'll attack your character. If they can attack your character, they can slow your ministry down. They can slow your influence down. They can slow, the, they can dilute the effectiveness of your, of, of, of your influence. If they attack your character, that's why they love to tempt you into backsliding, tempting you into sexual sins, tempting you into the old way that you used to be. Because if you fall into that sin and the result of that sin happens, then in the eyes of all the people, they will lose sight of God because you couldn't hold it. That's why we as ministers, we as children of God, we're supposed to live above reproach. We should be, there's nothing they can say about you, that you are above everything, that you live a life full of full of, full of uh, uh, excellence and being a person of character so that nothing can be used against you. That's why the devil wants to attack your character because if he attacks your character or gets you frustrated on this tough road to go back to your sins, then you fall on your sins, then you get a result of your sins, then all of a sudden, whatever that result is, whether it's adultery, whether it's homosexuality, whether it's sex outside of marriage, whether it's drug abuse, whatever it is or whatever compromise it is, he can use that compromise against you, therefore limiting or diluting your testimony, causing everybody else to go off their own way. He attacks your finances because he understands that in this world, money answers all things. And since it does answer all things, if I can attack your finances, then the people in the world would be like, why is he suffering? Why is she don't have no money? Why are they always going through and causing you, causing them to lose sight of God or cause you to be frustrated because your finances are low, cause you to be uh, why God and why I got to go through this, cause you to compromise to get money another way. They attack your health because they can break you down physically and you can't speak and you can't do nothing where they can get you eating unhealthy, where they can kill you off, then it also limits your potential. But if you have these three guarded in a place where you understand that though they attack my finances, though they may attack my health, though they may attack my character, if I live above reproach, if I'm a good steward over money, and if I, what's the, what's the last one? Uh, character, money, and I actually eat well and I'm healthy. So basically if I live above reproach, good steward over my money, and I actually live a healthy life, then they really cannot stop my effectiveness in this world. Think to yourself today. Be encouraged today. Understand that the reason why this road is tough is to make you stronger. 
The reason why this Christian walk is long is to give you endurance for the race. Don't let, don't, don't get weary in well doing, for you'll reap if you faint not. The problem is many of us through weariness causes us to faint in the middle of doing good. But when you understand who you are in God, you understand what he has brought you out of, and you understand your authority in Christ, nothing by any means should hurt you, no matter what the demons bring into your life. You will stand strong, confident, and bold in the things of God, knowing that you've already died to yourself, knowing that you can do all things, literally all things, through Christ who strengthens you. But if you don't go to Christ, how can he strengthen you to do all things? Thank you so much for watching my video. My heart goes out to those who are like, Josh, I'm tired of this suffering. Be of good cheer. God's overcome them all. Cast your cares on him. Hit me up with more questions. I love you all. Y'all be blessed. Sister died and I barely know why I done lost my religion and I don't apologize As far as I'm concerned it was birth from my demise Living by the law, scared not to pay tithes Snatched off my disguise, tired of living a lie You ain't gotta hit the block to see the innocent die Church heard you diss Mary Mary but you ride For Kirk come the thing that's kinda backwards cause he tried It first and much worse all the bickering inside us Instead of the spirit everybody trying to drive us And that's the reason why the miracles dry up Tie up to the same brothers that he Die for. Too many rappers got scripture on their lips with their hearts vacated on the ship and brag about how they graduated seminary and act like they're the only ones qualified to spit. Lord, tell me how long.